is that I want you to grab a deck. Yes, we got this. Um, I got a goddess deck and I'm asking this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your deck and it doesn't matter who's in this space right now, who's going to be in this space. Um, and many times you want to watch it. So they're going to choose the goddess that represents us. <sighs> Somebody's body just readjusted. <sighs> I can't even feel the deck. That's the weird part. <sighs> Nike. No, Ikea. What is it, an N or an I? A. -A. Oh, jeez. The way that she writes this, it didn't see it. Let's look. Let's find out if it's an A. Oh, it's an N. N, N. Yeah. So it is. We are, just do it. <laughs> okay. See, it is Nike. Ambition. The Greek goddess Nike asks you to be present to the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance. So what are your wins? And this is where you're going to start to learn what's it called taking it and, and you're taking your hits. So if you're using your intuition, you got it right, that's a hit. Yes. And you're going to build upon it, build upon it, build upon it, because that's how you strengthen your muscle. Every time you got it wrong, it has nothing to do with being wrong or failure. It's about hmm, readjust, reattune. Let's do. Okay. So just do it. So it's ambition. <clears throat> uh, yes. And so you got to remember, you have to look through ego in order for it. Because if you look through ego, then you're going to start noticing, oh, I got to be right all the time. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have... and then all of a sudden, if you listen to your spirit, spirit will say, aha, you got a hit. Let's clear that. So your ambition is to become more your true identity. And your ego will show you where you're losing power. Do you have to believe that way? Do you have to be in that? No. And then you can use tools to let it go. See, it's the power of choice. Look at they're taking my voice away. <clears throat> and anybody else has drawn a card, you may do so right now. So we have Nike present. So I'm going to just stick her on my right there. And then um, I'm going to pull an angel. You want this? No. This one? No. <laughs> well, you know, you should have the deck out when I asked. <laughs> Sorry, we're all just talking and flabbering our lips here. <clears throat> ah, you want that first. Then we'll talk to the angels. Okay, so we know that we got to look at the ego. What we need to heal is how we procrastinate. And procrastination. And a lot of people don't realize that it's in a feeling nature because you want to check out you don't want to participate you don't know how to okay oh i got the sign okay victor yes okay so we're going to be working on procrastination and we have nikki present anybody else has a card <clears throat> hmm. oh you got the horse and what did that represent, um, Jen? What did that represent? The start time, we're building up. When the meditation, okay, it's all the prep work. And it's not about 11-11 as much as it's about the, the action. I don't control these things. And Spirit wanted you to, didn't just get the stuff present. They needed you to find the value in it. Yes. Oh, good. It's on the list. You don't have to have any oracle cards. Uh, you can use Toro cards. That's fine. Miracle. Yes, we're going to work on a miracle. Which chakra is that, Amy? Which chakra is that? Assistance. There is for ask for helping. Yes, receive. This is about that giving and receiving. Thank you for the backup. Um, Seven of Cups. 
off our thread here. Okay, so kind of give us a description of the Seven of Cups, what that represents, so people understand that a cup and um, you know, what, yeah, spirits is shut up. That's fine, I can do that. <laughs> um, what's funny is I'm going to pull the number. 416. Your prayers to improve conditions in your life have been heard and answered by angels. Stay positive in order to manifest the positive outcomes more rapidly. This goes along with every time that you go into doubt, you have to catch yourself and say, ah, nope. I can choose better. I can choose better. I can choose better. Mm. Deception of the God Bruins. Oh, yeah. we got to clear the deception. Yes, angels and fairy cards. Yeah, anybody want to pull it? Maybe that's probably why they told me I was going to, but no, pull it, pull it. So Amy said that we're working on the third chakra. Um, we're going to be looking at that third chakra, and what, how did she put it? She said, um, I lost Ames. Miracles. Yes, now, a miracle is a shift in perception. Understand that. It's increasing more and more, and we're waiting for all the buildup, and we're creating that part, that anticipation, joy and abundance. Two of Wands, joy and abundance. Good, good, good. James Van Prague. I understand nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yes, and that's one reason we are getting hands on. The reason that these little tiny steps. They can be annoying, you know, or you can look at it as enjoy, but it's about how you look at it. All right. You guys are doing good. All right. Yeah, I, yeah I've got a lot too, and I, it's beautiful that they can be around us. All right. So if somebody wants to pull an angel card, that's good. And the archangels, I don't know. Oh, you got it. Okay. Well, give me a second to pull it up then. Oh, so it's important that we call upon all these and, one, and, and as you understand what we're going to be talking about and what we're doing these angels and these ones are already here as our representatives it's very important to understand this is not your traditional sense of how I would do a meditation but they want you all to be involved and be important and you, I, you all matter every single one of you matters then that is what they they want you to understand. There goes my voice again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which archangel do you want? Number 12. <clears throat> Fertility. Really? We're bringing in Pan. So we're going to learn. You have the Midas touch. You have the ability to turn your negative into positive. You have the ability to see something that is, there's no way out. And then you can turn on the light like hope. And then you can see. And then spirit downloads you with the information. Okay. And you're going to have that procrastination into new projects. You're going to be allowing yourself into a new space. But you have to learn to think think and it's not about well I'm gonna be positive it's about taking and downloading that third option so that is one of the things we're going to be doing is downloading the third option oh fallout deserving this yes that's probably why I said you guys all deserve to be doing all these little things and again if you don't have a card it's no oh, go the distance yes good job LaRonda Happy, healthy home. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, you deserve the support. Recognize your lovable qualities. You have such amazing qualities. You guys don't even know, and it's beautiful. I love to look at your soul and see that glowing potential, and I want you to see it. Infinite universal love. That is what we're doing with the heart. And see, this is pulsating. You may not feel it, but wait until we get connected to as above, to as below, to the galactic, to the earth. So the hugest thing today is that we have angels that are helping us understand that we deserve. It's not entitlement, but it's deserve. It's that respect. It is that part of ourselves that we get really confused with ego. Okay? You have got to learn to receive. 
when you learn the relationship okay of giving and receiving it'll be balanced but if you're used to just giving 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 or receiving or receiving receiving then you miss the point of what it means to deserve you deserve to be here your soul says i want to do this your soul said i wanted to know the steps and i said i will agree to do this see how important you are i'm going to give you a little clue you can opt out right now if you choose all of you has a soul contract that states that I was here once before in the involution process and I chose to come back at this time in the evolution process so that I can help awaken whether it's to, you know we're going to be increasing our photon footprint everywhere we walk we're going to increase the light everywhere we go we're going to increase this you're going some of you are going to have specific jobs some of your job is to glow brighter some of you are supposed to go into those little spaces where people need you and you just smile and it is just going to change every little part that's why we're showing you these steps every little part is so important to make it all work even if you don't know what that is just smile allow your heart to fill and if you feel like you want in depression then you say why do I want to wallow here why is it that I'm choosing resident here and we're going to call forth those little parts of yourself all those little ages and restore happiness right now they're doing healing on you okay that you restore happiness okay Spirit says, now that we have that, um, and the decisions are sweet, and you are important, we have all that in play, we are charged, our auras, the angels are present, we call upon our loved ones, we call upon any of those, if you have a, a picture, or if you want to just intentionally hear, they, the bandwidth you know it, we're not crossing anybody's we're not forcing anybody but we will can do some healings on people we can help them download help to release you're going to do it anyway within yourself and it affects your line but if you have them intentionally in the direct the point is is their soul has already agreed that if they wanted it it'll go through the bandwidth so you're not forcing anything onto anybody do you understand you just know it's a prayer And then you're playing your part. Now, <clears throat> I have a tendency to do things without sound as far as music, because I want you to hear the vibrations and the beat in your own space. Okay. We're going to take those pieces of paper. And we're going to take... You can have them any size you want, so... If you have stuff written on them, and if you don't, then you go and you're like, oh, no, I forgot my note. I can't find it. You just say, okay, fine. You can do this many times. You can have it for your health. And if you have something very specific, then you can say what that very specific thing is. If you want to work on a specific chakra, like fifth chakra, then you say that if you you're like well I don't like when I get angry okay you can work on a specific emotion if you you really know that you have a bad attitude and you just like I don't fucking care then you write down I don't fucking care and then you can clear that particular trait or that particular character behavior personality and you know the so list can be as long as you want or short as you want you're gonna take your list now Okay, and we're going to put it on our thymus. We're going to do what's called the four breath, the tapping and the four breaths. And right now we're just going to wait a second and see what happens. Okay. Wait until everybody is in alignment to what we need.
Oh. How could you be late? You're, you're on the other side. I don't know if anybody has uh, uh, somebody um, named Leo is here. Okay. And um, yeah, he says, I'm sorry. Hunt, oh, hold on. Honey, I'm okay. So we're we going back in time like in a movie. It's walking through the door. It seems to be a sunny day. Sorry, honey, I'm late. I'm home. Why is it that he walks in and sees somebody? So somebody that you know has had a trauma in their life and they've been stuck in that space. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Helping, asking for help from others. Okay. I'm not sure why, but he's now sitting here doing uh, Indian style seating. Um, everybody, please take your hand. doesn't matter which hand not important now all you're going to feel if you some of you are aware you're going to hear uh, the echoes the vibration it doesn't have to be deafening just letting you know you have the powers rising up higher and then this is going to help us release all of the weights that keeps us from flying and you're going to do breathe in and hold then you're going to breathe out and hold you're going to pant and then you're going to breathe normal in and out. At the whole time, we're going to tap. We're going to tap here to the back of our neck. Okay? Who said wait? Just wait a second. Okay. Ready? The intention is here. You're just breathing in. Hold. Out. Hold, pant. Normal, in and out. There's a shift. One more time. Okay, breathe in. Hold, and out. Hold. Pant. If you yawn, that's good. <coughs> then you breathe normal. <coughs> All right. Um, some of you need to do it a little bit longer. So then you do it a little bit longer. Okay. I'm asking spirit. They're saying for this, that's fine. They're beginning to release. We're going to do it one more time. Ready? Breathe in and hold. And out. And hold. And now pant. <laughs> Hey, Tarpa. <laughs> Let's take this. Thank you, Spirit, for the we have changed the energy course we have going to release. Reach for your fry pan burning thing. Okay. And since mine's sitting down, I don't really want to disturb it. And you can't quite see it. No, I'll lift it up anyway. We're going to light it. Remember, spirit, we've given it to God. We're creating the Christ consciousness. And we're allowing us to burn. And some of you like to chant. That's fine. Some of you. So we're just going to let it be. And as it goes out, you relight it again. And if it doesn't burn all the way, that's fine. You can do it. The intention is to release and don't rush it. Allow the process to take its time.
Let's open it up. There we go. You can burn it later. This is just symbolic if you wanted to, or you can finish out the whole process. Your eyes are going to look like they're drooping and sleeping and high as a kite. That's because your brain waves are now shifting. I feel that the brain wave is shifting greatly. And what we're doing is just that even if you feel like you're getting bored, that's also a sign that it's, you're allowing your brain waves to drop farther. Oh, wow. Does it matter when you joined or when it began? You got this whole video you get to watch again of all the prep to see how everything is going. Every part of this is a very deep, deep process. <clears throat> okay, so now everybody, you can dim your lights. You make sure you have your wand with you. You're inside your circle. And then I'm going to now <clears throat> anybody who's got to go pee, you do it right now. I mean, literally, go. Because, so somebody just said, I have to go pee. Fine, just go. This will be the next process. That's true. I don't know who's talking to me, but yeah, that's true. Okay, so since everybody's going to go pee, or some of you are, I'll be right back too. my drum. Oh, All right, some of you are already starting to download because you had released uh, some stuff. Apparently that was required. Now that we have the sun in place throughout this um, meditation, you may hear sounds. Allow them to go deeper and deeper into the frequency of allowing yourself to become consciousness, which is thought. Be aware that that is possible to make sound, and so you just allow yourself to harmonize with it. Okay. Now, is everybody back? All good? <laughs> yeah, no matter when you join, you are going to be what you called. They will put you right in the exact alignment. Like some people had to go to sleep. That's fine. They're going to get a healing in their sleep. Some of them are going to join us later. It doesn't matter when. Now, you're going to look at the timestamp if you want to skip all the rest, which I hope you wouldn't. But if you've already done it enough times, you may. So you look at the timestamp. This is when we're going to begin. Okay, so is everybody, I, oh, I know, I felt somebody was very full, and I'm like, okay, and Spirit told me we're going to have a little, had a little pee break, we got to do that, and I just want to make sure everybody's back. Okay, so we ready? Ready? 